Stephanie Hoffman, and on this episode of Metal America, we're back at Arc and Flame Center in Rochester, New York, and I'm here with Zach, and he's going to be teaching me how to forge. I'm Stephanie Hoffman, and I've been in the welding industry for more than 20 years, working as a welder, fabricator, instructor, and now with the American Welding Society. I get to travel the country meeting people who are building incredible things while introducing the next generation to careers in welding and metal fabrication. What are you going to have me make today? We're going to be making a little bowie knife. We're going to do a full tang bowie knife. Hey, what? It's called full tang. Bowie knife. Full tang. Bowie knife. <laughs> yeah. The so Bowie knife is like what most people think of when they think of like a knife. It's got a real okay. picturesque shape to it. Okay. Um, and we're gonna forge a handle shape on here too. So it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good simple forging, but a lot goes into it. We're gonna start with a with what's called a preform. Uh -huh. So I did just a little bit of forging on this this morning. Okay. This is going to set us up for the blade and the handle shape that we're going for. Um, just gives a little leg up time-wise. Okay. Forging, all forging, but especially forging a blade, is all about order of operations. Just like fabrication, where you have certain things you need to do first, um, we're going to take this through a series of operations to set us up for the next step. Okay. So we're going to get started with that. Okay. Use your tongs. Tongs. Grab by the handle. The tongs and the what? What is this called? Knife. Just a knife already, even though it's not a knife? It's going to be a knife. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And that's it. And now throw we're, it in there. And now we just throw it in there. Just in there. Just throw it in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so scared. Wow. And then we just have hot? to wait for it to get hot. So. Oh my god. It is really hot! <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna start working the steel when it reaches the same color as the inside of the forge. So it's so gonna be orange. it's gonna be good orange, yeah. This could take a while. <laughs> I'm going to take it out and I want to show you what our first step is going to be. Okay. Here, and then you're going to do it. Alright. So, this side of the billet is going to become the edge of the okay. blade. Right over here. Yeah. So, first thing we want to do is we want to line up this little notch here uh -huh. with the corner of the anvil. Okay. Alright. And we're going to hold this not flat on the anvil. We're going to hold it at a very slight angle. Oh. Alright. Okay. And we're going to hammer down that edge. Always coming back to that home position. Now, it's getting gray, is that okay? It is, yeah, it cools off as you work it. Uh, so like, how, how soon do we have to? Between red and orange. So That's now we're done, we have we're to done. put it back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at that stance, right? Left, hand, uh, uh, left foot, right foot in an L shape. I've got the tongs braced against my hip, and this hammer just comes straight up and down. So, like, I was hitting it, but I felt like I was trying to aim for the edge, but you're not really aiming for the edge. No, we're letting the hammer and the anvil do the work for us. Okay. We're just along for the ride. 
I see now, because I was really like focusing on like trying to make an edge. Yeah. Is what I was We're not making an edge yet. Okay. So one of the big things about making a blade, and, and, and really most forgings, is that just like starting with a pallet full of parts on a fabrication project, until that very last step, it doesn't really look like anything. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're we're just we're we're taking baby steps here. We're building foundations for the next thing. This isn't really going to look like much of a knife until we're pretty much done with it. Okay. So at this point, we've we've done a pretty good job at hammering in some bevels. And, All and right. what what stage is this called? Banana knife. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so as we've created those bevels, we've pushed all of the steel on one side of the blade here, right? Okay. So you can see that the tip has gone off into space. Yeah, yeah. All right. A little wonky. Furthermore, if we look at the back of the blade, it's still really, really thick. All right. It's still a full quarter of an inch thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the power hammer, and we're going to do just a little taper from the thickest part of the knife out to the tip here. Okay. We're going to reduce the section here. So it's going to make it a long, It's, it's going, going to make it just a little bit longer. Okay. And it's going to push that tip back down. And we're going to need to continue the heat and then to the end. Oh, everything's done hot. Steel's getting hot. All right. We're going to start with the thickest section in the, in the, in the hammer. Okay. All right. And we're always going to go from thick to thin. Okay. Now flip it from thick to thin. Okay. Is this going to like... Like, slag gonna come off on it? Okay. Pretty easy? Yeah. Always pulling it towards yourself. Always two hands on the tongs. Two hands on the tongs, yep. And just okay. ease into it. Turn yep. it over. Yep. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. So that was too much? A little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. beat the crap out of this thing for quite a while. Now we're moving on to the next step, which would be... We're gonna make a handle. So this is gonna be yeah. a full tang knife. Okay. So the profile of the steel is gonna be the, uh, uh, the same all the way through the handle. You'll be able to see the steel all the way around. Okay. Um, so we're gonna flip the thing over, put it backwards in the forge. Okay. So when it's nice and hot, we want it you know, nice and orange through uh -huh. here. We're gonna come over, we're gonna park this area of the blade. This is called the choil. The choil? Yeah. That's going to go right here. So the choil okay. there. And we're going to oh, hammer okay. straight oh, down that on makes it. Sense. Okay. So we just got finished putting the choil, learn a new word, on the very tip of the anvil. What part of the anvil is that called? Is that called anything in particular? Uh, well, you put a finger groove in on the horn on the horn of yep. the anvil. So then we just finished putting our first finger groove in. Yep. And now we're, this is like the remaining fingers. Yeah, so the rest of your hand. And so, then the very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a taper down the handle. It's gonna stretch things out just a little bit so it actually fits the hand. Back with the power hammer. Back at the power hammer. I'm tending to fight the recoil of the hammer yeah. and don't be doing that. It's, no. it's really letting that, that motion work with me rather than against exactly. me. Exactly. So. You want to let the anvil and the hammer do what they're designed to do. Yeah. So, important note for folks at home, don't fight the hammer. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, what we're going to do is call it quenching. Okay. okay. So we're going to bring the, in the forge, we're going to bring the steel up to a certain temperature okay. at which the structure of the steel changes. Right. At that point, 
Um, as a bladesmith, we can decide what we want the steel to do, all right? So from that temperature, we're going to quench it into some oil, and this is going to harden the steel. It's going to turn it from a soft piece of, of nothing into what's going to be a functional tool. Right. The reason that we quench into oil is because if we were to quench into water, it is too rapid, too violent a cooling action. Oh, okay. And it will cause cracks. It can actually cause the entire blade to kind of Get out. blow really? apart, heat the handle, okay. and we'll flip it over and heat the blade. And you're going to turn around and you're going to stab the oil and I Real. want you to bury it. I want you to bury the whole situation to about there in the oil. Okay. All right. You're going to stab it and you're going to kind of cut it. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. Um, there might be just a little bit of flame, but okay. we're not going to have a big fireball. Okay. All right. Now you are going to be hanging out next to the forge for a minute. So if you want gloves, uh, okay. this is about the only time that we might wear gloves. Okay. So we're fully forged. We did a little bit of cycling, thermocycling, and then you got it hot, quenched in oil, right. just hardened the blades. So this is now as hard as it could possibly be. Okay. In fact, if we were to drop it on the ground right now, it might actually break. The next step is called tempering. And tempering is the least exciting part of making a knife. Okay. What we're gonna do is put it into an oven at around 400 degrees, and it's gonna sit in there for two to four hours. Okay. This is gonna reduce the hardness just a little bit but it's gonna make it much, much tougher and much more effective. All right, and then once we take it out of the oven, just grinding and sanding and, and finish work? Really? Yep, once the tempering is done, that's when we get on the grinder, that's when we get to the sanding and all the finish work and everything, yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going to end up tempering it today. We're going to call it a day for the whole forging process. I really had a great time. I look Go forward ahead. to taking this home with me and finishing it up. But I think it's best that we go and get some dinner, right? Okay. Yep. So we'll see you next time on Metal America. We're back at my shop now. Ran out of time at Rochester Arc and Flame. So now I just need to grind this down and give it a nice sharp blade. I'm just taking 60 grit sandpaper to it, just trying to clean it up as best as possible before I start lowering down the grit and putting a point or and putting a, a sharp edge on this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna switch out to a finer grip paper real quick. Finish up putting that knife edge.
could with sanding this. Um, I'm not a knife maker, um, so this was definitely my first time. A huge learning curve here, but I watched some videos and tried to do it the best I could. It's definitely sharp though, um, but I had fun making it. So we'll see you next time on Metal America.